Welcome to this IR Sidekick driver tutorial. IR Sidekick is a name for a group of utility modules. The name means iRacing Sidekick. Driver is the fourth utility module. This tutorial will focus on the Shift Notify feature. When you run IR Sidekick driver it will be minimized, because that's the default setting. Click on the taskbar program icon to make the application visible. Click on the toolbar option with the gear icon to change the default settings. Configure auto start and start minimized per your requirements. Auto start means auto start after logging into Windows. The toolbar option with a question mark will take you to the YouTube tutorial playlist for this program. Let's walk through the user interface. On the left, all 125 iRacing cars are listed. The order is current or legacy then discipline then description. Current cars are listed first, legacy cars will be down the bottom. The disciplines are dirt oval, oval, road. The car list can be filtered down to cars that have a B lap or shift RPM definition. Right mouse button over the car list and click the B lap filter option, the list will immediately refresh. The filter setting is remembered. Select the audio set you prefer, two are provided, names and numbers. Names call the selected gear as reverse, neutral, first, second, third, etc. Numbers call the selected gear as reverse, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Additional audio sets can be created, details will be provided on the IR Sidekick Discord server. Select the audio device you want the notifications to play through. The volume of each audio notification can be adjusted via slider controls, drag the slider with the left mouse button down to adjust the volume. Setting the volume to zero disables notifications. Right mouse click over any volume slider to hear the notification and test the volume level. Neutral. DRS enabled. The brake notification can be a single or continuous notification, until the brake pedal position reduces to below the defined threshold. The shift RPM per gear and the brake threshold are car specific. Ensure you have selected the correct car before changing these values. Let me select the Skip Barber 2000. Being a road car it will be well down the list. Click or tab into a shift RPM edit box. The up and down arrow keys will alter the RPM by 50. The mouse wheel can also be used. You can click on the minus and plus buttons. You can also type any specific RPM into the edit box. Click or tab into the brake percentage edit box. The up and down arrow keys will alter the percentage by 5. The mouse wheel can also be used. U can click on the minus and plus buttons. You can also type any specific percentage into the edit box. Remember to click on the save to disk toolbar icon. The status bar at the bottom displays waiting or connected to I. Racing. When an iRacing session starts the program will connect to the iRacing data feed and monitor car speed, RPM, gear and brake metrics. The McLaren MP4 DRS status will also be monitored. Sound notifications will be produced as per your configuration settings.